you come up through a great organization with so many guys there. I mean, Biggio, I mean, there, there's so many names that are in the Astros organization. Did you try and when you first got into the organization, I mean, you're a second round pick. It's a pretty high draft pick. You're, you're able to talk to guys. Did you try and talk to any of them and, and, and pick their brain and, and figure out how they do things? Or were you always, this is how I do it. This is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to be successful that way. No, I, I, I was 100% like I had a notebook. I, I wanted to interview them. I wanted to go to breakfast. I wanted to learn all of their secrets. And and what was cool is uh, I, I, I talked to even people from other teams and stuff. And and the thing that I found out after a couple of years of doing this is that a lot of times when I try to do something someone else's way, I actually would get worse. And not to say they, like not to say that they had bad information. It's that I needed like there was maybe a, a gym from each one of them that worked for me. And then there were some things that didn't work for me. So what I ended up finding out is that you have to know yourself and you have to find out what works for you. But by being the scientist and like going out and like trying to learn from everyone, I just took a little bit from each one and, and, and saw which ones worked for me. And the other thing that's like really fun when you like really dive deep into hitting is that you realize that like your arms and your body, like, you know, your height and your and, and how, like the length of your arms it's going to change. Like, so you can't, you know, I can't go and hit like Justin Turner. Like when I went to work with Doug Lotta uh, or Marlon bird is another one that, uh, you know, was really into that whole swing tech. I'm doing a similar thing and there's some biomechanics that have to align, but there's different postures for my flexibility, for my range of motion, for my length of arms. So um, I had to, when I, when it finally came together for me, when I made that adjustment was when I realized that I had to change things slightly for me. And then follow the the actual physical principles of like, obviously physics, uh, this was, I wish I knew this stuff when I was younger, but just keeping your hands tight to your body and not casting how much power you get. So it was really crazy how little effort and how far you can hit the ball when you do it right. So who, this is Hunter Pence pulling out his notebook as a young kid trying to talk to people. Who are, who are some of these people in this notebook? Who were you going to and talking to? You said even guys from other teams were involved in this. Yeah, I think one of, one of my favorite players of all time was Barry Bond. So while he was while he was still playing with the Giants, I, I set up a, a, a breakfast with him, and it was really oh, nice of so him cool. to to show up and and talk hitting with me. And uh, you know, because we had the we we had the same agency, and uh, so Barry was one, Lance Berkman, Carlos Lee, Bagwell, Biggio. Um, not Some... all of them did I like go. Darren Erstead. Not all of them did I like go to like you know, out to lunch, like I did with like with bonds, but a lot of them, I would just, you know, like really pick their brains about everything and, and Bagwell and Berkman and even Carlos Lee. One thing that I realized throughout my career, which is crazy is the best hitters in the world hit the least. Like they don't sit there. (laughs) There's very few that hit a ton that are exceptional. Like Pablo is, is one of the exceptions that he hit a ton, Pablo Sandoval, yeah. and and was was like that elite, elite, elite. But like Chase Utley, very little work in the cage. You know, Carlos Lee, very little. Berkman, little. Bagwell, Bagwell said that he knew his career was over when he was headed to the cage early. Like you know, so <laughs> Buster Posey, they 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 all think you hit too much, and they just they they do they make perfect practice perfect. Yeah, very little, very limited, because they're like you're gonna hit yourself into a slump. You're gonna hit, five, you know, like you're gonna overthink it. So there's an old saying: a thinking mind is a heavy bat, but. For me, I, I remember telling uh, Aubrey Huff once, he was like, man, you hit so much. And I was like, well, if your swing looked like mine, what would you do? <laughs> like, you're right. I, I think it's natural. Like, you go 0 for 4 in a game, you punch out three times, and you're like, man, I got to get in the cage. And it just makes so much sense. Like, why would you do that? You just had a bad game. You were doing something incorrectly. So you're just going to go to a cage and repeat those bad habits. So it makes sense. Like, when you're going good in a cage, when you're going good in BP, stop you figure it out if you're not just also stop like just stop stop taking so many slings it's a it's a delicate balance for sure and uh you know i think jim Tomey had one of the best comments i've ever had with regarding that he said when i go over four i go home and i get better because i'm mad and i come back and i know i'm better and just <laughs> that that perspective of like that over four just made me better and you know if you read like some of the like mental keys to hitting the harvey dorfman stuff Uh, They would talk about like going, some of the great hitters would go home and their outs, they would replay them in their imagination and, 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 
and like turn them into hits. Like, how do I barrel that ball that I missed? And like, what does it feel like? So for me, I wish I would have done that more because I think that that was really powerful and I did it some, uh, but I was kind of like, oh, it's not going right. I got to hit until I figure it out. And that can just lead to worse habits because you just, you keep, you know, you create this muscle memory of a tired body swinging and that doesn't necessarily do you any good. So, yeah. Uh, and, and I would say that I did notice that usually the hotter I was, the less I was hitting in the cage as well. So I don't know why I didn't figure that out sooner. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.